Hello and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be talking about how you can manage your LearnWorlds account. Log into your dashboard and navigate over to where it says my account and account and billing. From here, you'll find uh, five tabs at the top. You've got overview, subscriptions, billing details, invoices, and account usage. The first tab is an overview of all of your options and your subscription with LearnWorlds. Now this is a trial account. That's why instead of that, you're seeing the available plans instead. Next up, we got the subscriptions tab. So over here, if you're under one subscription, you're going to be able to see all of the details over here. And if you've also purchased any add-ons. Next up, we have the bill and details, such as your payment method and your billing information. Moving on, you'll be able to see your invoices and even download them. And finally, we have the account usage where you can see the available features for your plan. So let's go ahead and take it from the beginning. We're right here and from here you can see all the available plans and their pricing. You'll see that they come with a yearly or a monthly version. You can choose uh, whichever one is best for you. Typically there's a discount if you go for the yearly version. And right here you're going to be able to select your currency according to your location. Let's give it to USD. Um, and now let's say that uh, you take a look at the plans and you're ready to purchase. Let's go ahead and purchase the Pro Trainer yearly plan and I'm going to click on select right here. And that's going to take me over to this payment screen. So from here you're going to see uh, all the payment options. So uh, we picked, we went for the yearly version but if you change your mind you can also head to the monthly version instead. Now right here you're going to be able to see what the equivalent is going to be for the yearly version. So how much would it be per month but here is the final amount that you're going to pay and you'll also be able to see that in this pay button down here. So follow the instructions, select your payment method, you can add a card or even connect a PayPal account. Fill in your card information and your billing information to proceed over to the next step. So let me do just that. All right, card is ready. Billing information. Now, if you're purchasing as a business and not just as an individual, you can turn this on and you'll see that there's going to be some extra fields for you to cover. For instance, company name, VAT, and so on. I'm going to keep it off for now. Fill in your information. Select the country and according to the country you're going to select, you'll see that the VAT is also going to change. Uh, so let's say that I want to add Chad, for instance, or let me also change it back to Greece. Let me just find it. There it is somewhere here and there you go. Now you'll see that, for instance, Greece has a 24 VAT and of course, according to the country you're going to choose, there's going to be a different VAT if there is one, right? So for instance, uh, Canada. I'm not sure how much Canada has. Let me try that right here. And you'll see that Canada has no VAT, but Greece has. UK has. Let me check, take a look at that as well. Ah, oh, I'm going to add UK. There you go. And you'll see that UK has a 20% VAT. I'm just going to turn it back to Greece. There you go. Uh, you have to agree with the terms and services. And there you go. Now here's the total amount that you're going to pay. If you have any discount coupon codes, you can apply them right here and then click on pay to move over to the next step. All right. And now we're ready. You can see that now we are under the pro trainer plan. We went with the yearly version. You can also see that right here. And now let me just refresh this so that you can see all of the options on the new tabs as well. Now that we are under the pro, pro trainer yearly plan. All right, so uh, right now we are at the, the overview tab and you'll see that instead of the available plans, you now see this option with your current plan. Same over here in the subscriptions right now. It does let us know that we are under the pro trainer plan and you can add add ons over here. In the billing details, you can see the payment method that you use. You can even add in a one. There must always be at least one in file. You'll see your billing, uh, your billing cycle, and your billing period and the billing details that you added. Moving on, you can find your invoice. So you can find that right here, uh, download it and open it up. Let me just do that. It's right here, so let me open that. And there you have it. So here's the learn what's information, your invoice information, description, and the amount paint and your plan. Let me close this off and let's just go back. So next up we have the account usage. So for instance, you can see they cannot use funnels on the uh, pro trainer plan. You're going to need to uh, upgrade for that. You can use the pop of the pop-up builder and other options over here as well. So let me go back into the overview tab. 
All right, so let's change our plan and let's start to upgrade. So click on upgrade right now, and that's gonna take us back to the plans page. And you'll see that right now you do not have the option to switch your currency. So keep in mind that your currency locks the first time you purchase a subscription. So uh, we were on the Pro Trainer yearly plan and we clicked on the upgrade button. So let's go for the Learning Center plan at this time. I'm gonna click on upgrade. That's gonna take us to the same page that we saw earlier. So here's the details on our payment. We're going for the yearly version and this is how much the monthly version would be. And here's the total that we're gonna to need to pay. Our payment method is pre-filled because it is in file from earlier, but you can also add a different one. Same goes with your billing information. Again, if you wish to purchase as a business, you can turn this on and you'll find more information to fill in. Select your country, so pretty much the same uh, option as earlier. Enable the uh, terms, agree with the terms and the privacy policy and click on pay. All right, so once you do that, we're taken to the overview page and you can see that our account has changed, uh, our plan has changed. We are now under the Learning Center plan. You can change your plan from here. You can see uh, when it's valid until, when it's valid for. And you'll see that now you have a few add-ons that you can purchase. So uh, a mobile combo or um, maybe you want to buy just the iOS version or the Android one. You can purchase these from here again. Billing details are the same. So this is just an overview of your account uh, and subscriptions. You'll find your plans details or so learning center over here. If you wish to upgrade, you can do it from here. And if you wish to add add-ons, we can do that in a little bit. Same billing details. We saw that earlier in case you want to add more payment methods, more billing methods, you can add that over here. Again, you must have at least one billing method in file. Moving on in the invoices, we saw that earlier, but let's take a closer look at it. So over here, you can see the date, your invoice ID number, the service period, the currency that was uh, used, the subtotal and the total. You'll see that the subtotal is less than the total. This is it without uh, tax. Uh, you can see the status, whether it's paid or not. And of course, you can download them as we saw earlier. Now from the top, you can also export the payment history. That is not going to export the actual invoices, but rather a list of them in CSV or XLS. So keep that in mind as well. And of course, the account usage, we saw that earlier, but you can see that now funnels are actually available since we upgraded to the Learning Center plan so let me go over to the overview and let's try to purchase an add-on so let's say that um, perhaps I want to go for the mobile iOS uh, add-on just having an iOS um, app so click on purchase again this can take us over to the payment page to fill in all the information so here's the plan for that the yearly version and the monthly version again your payment information your billing information as you can see these you cannot change you're simply just adding an add-on but you can change that from the top with the billing information so agree on the terms and again um, here is the total amount that you're gonna pay so click on pay and voila so right now uh over at the overview tab you can not only see your plan but also the add-ons that you've purchased so right here it says learning center and under add-ons you'll see the mobile app the ios one if you want to add more add-ons you find that right here to do it exactly uh so over at subscriptions the only thing that has changed is that we now have uh, the mobile app the ios version add-on same over here, the billing details in case you want to change that. Now in the invoices, you're going to find a third invoice, which was issued specifically for the Android iOS version that we just added. And under account usage, you won't see much of a difference. Now um, let's try to change the plan, but downgrade this time. So click on change plan and that's going to take you over to the plans page. Now remember that we were under the learning center plan the yearly version let's say that we want to downgrade all the way to the starter click on downgrade confirm your downgrade from here and something that you see in the order summary is all your credits and your balance if you had an extra balance that's going to turn it into credits for you to use in a later payment so keep that in mind when you're downgrading all right so in the overview you can see your current subscription we are over at the starter plan now if you go all the way to invoices you'll find a new invoice which was just issued due to our downgrade so again you can download any of these from here and that's pretty much it so in general from the overview tab you could either select a plan for the first time or just have a general overview of what's going on with your Lormos plan. Now something last we didn't mention is uh, under subscriptions in case for any reason you wish to cancel your subscription this option is available for you at the bottom right here.